Last weekend, President Obama's government takeover of health care passed the House of Representatives by the narrowest of margins. If the final version looks anything like the House bill, it will be a disastrous mix of tax increases, spending hikes, and big bureaucracy. And it will also be one more example of America's growing nanny state. For example, the proposed reform bill would force Americans to buy health care insurance even if they're young, healthy, and tight on money. Think about that for a moment. For the first time in our nation's history, with one swipe of its legislative pen, Congress is prepared to take away your rights to manage your own money, set your own priorities, and make your own decisions. And when Americans do buy the government-mandated insurance, they will find their rates skyrocketing because the politicians in Washington will have taken away our freedom to choose an affordable plan. With Washington setting the rules, we can expect it to see it require that insurance plans cover everything from fertility treatments to acupuncture. And if you think that's an exaggeration, just look around the country. Some state legislatures throughout the nation have already required these and other elective treatments be covered by health insurers, despite the staggering cost to consumers who only want to be covered against illness. But government meddling in our private affairs won't stop there, as busybody legislators throughout the country are already proving. In Los Angeles, local laws prohibit building new fast food restaurants. In New York, the governor is pushing for a tax on soft drinks. In Washington, the federal government is bringing the hammer down on cigarette makers, even while it's easing law enforcement efforts against marijuana. In every area of our lives, the message from America's politicians is becoming increasingly clear. Government knows best. It's bad enough that legislators will regulate every last bite of your lunch. But in this new era, they're not content to stop there. Today, the federal government tells GM what kind of cars to make. It tells executives at major businesses how much money they can make in a year. And if liberals get their way on cap and trade, it will soon tell you what energy you can use to fuel your car or heat your home at staggering costs. In a time when the nation is faced with major challenges, Elected officials at all levels are choosing to ignore the big issues in favor of regulating every aspect of our daily lives. But how can they really believe that a small group of politicians knows what we need better than we do? Americans can take care of themselves. We managed to get along just fine before government was policing every aisle in the grocery store and badgering every doctor in the local hospital. We don't need Washington's help we just need them to get out of the way. That's this week's Freedom Minute.